Hey everybody, we're playing Forza 4. I'm looking at the 2012 Spiker C8 Aileron, and uh, it's made by the Dutch car manufacturer Spiker. It comes in a huge variety of lots of colors. I'm going to pick the uh, default factory color here, which is the dark gray. Just a little bit of info about the car. It does have 400 horsepower. It'll cost you 500,000 credits in the game. It weighs 3,142 pounds, has a 4.2 liter engine, and will start at class A541, 541, and uh, you can upgrade it all the way into the R classes. It is built from the ground up for a Le Mans type of scenario. It was uh, placed five, fifth in its category, um, Forza's description was a little unclear, but it did place fifth in its discipline in 2009 in the Le Mans, uh, behind a lot of Ferraris and stuff. As you can see the inside, it's all chromed out and leathered out, which is very, uh, very, very close to what it is in real life. Um, so at first, this car, I just wanted to let everyone know, is the biggest surprise out of every car in the entire 10 car package. I didn't have high hopes for it, I honestly didn't think it looked that nice, and I didn't really care for it, but once I got my hands on it, this car is phenomenal. Um, when I actually got to look at, into it and you know saw more than one or two pictures, I think it's beautiful on the outside, and um, it just handles phenomenally. It takes corners, awesome, the engine sounds good, you know, it doesn't lose grip, here's some outside view. It has a lot of chrome detailing, it has a chrome bumper, it has a, a you know front and rear bumper, it has some chrome on the top there, it has like um, jet looking intakes on the side to cool down, you know, the engine, the differential, and the brakes and whatnot. The rims look amazing. So I did pick this color, although the white color in my opinion, or even the orange color, it really sets off, you know, more of the detailing on the car. Either way, as you can see here, the way I, I did get a little sl slide here, that's just because the tires weren't very warm and I didn't take the corner very well. But overall, this car, I highly recommend it, especially as an A-Class car. It just seems to completely outperform anything that would you know normally be bought in its uh, same class. So if you upgrade it, you know, put a, put a few horses in it and uh, some tires on it, I'm sure it'll just you know wreck the competition in the A-Class. And... Uh, the look of it did grow on me, but obviously it's not for everyone. It is quite long, quite low. It has the four dots in the back for lights and has the chrome all over. So hopefully that was enough information to decide, help you guys decide. Thanks for watching.